Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. It's been a long time coming, but the one-year mission is ready for liftoff. NASA's Scott Kelly and cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko are headed for a nearly 12-month stint on board the station. They'll be pushing the limits of research, exploration, and the human spirit in the latest step in the space station's role as a platform to prepare us for the journey to Mars. To follow all the latest on these pioneering space flyers, visit nasa.gov slash one year. To make the most of this historic mission, scientists from around the globe are teaming up to benefit humanity. Kelly and Kornienko will engage in a variety of studies designed to provide new data on the physical and mental challenges astronauts face on longer and longer missions. NASA's Human Research Program will focus on several key areas, including vision changes, effects on the human immune system, and even human factors that show how the crew members interact. Kelly will also take part in a special study that makes use of his identical twin brother, former astronaut Mark Kelly, that hopes to shed light on the more subtle effects of spaceflight. And spending this much time in space is bound to break some endurance records. The one-year crew will set the record for longest flight to the station, surpassing the previous record of 215 days set back on Expedition 14. And Kelly, who's already a veteran space flyer with 180 days in space, will set the all-time endurance record for a U.S. astronaut, currently held by Mike Fink with 382 days. And be sure to follow along with Scott Kelly on social media throughout his journey. You can find him on Twitter and Instagram, thanks to special requests from President Obama, at Station Commander Kelly. So strap in for a year in space and keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.